What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProBJ and welcome back to This Is The Police. You guys seem to really enjoy this last time, so let's get straight back into it. Day 4, July 18th. Did I read all of these? I don't remember whether I read all these. I'm gonna read them again. Rope Spire to reveal his identity. When the time is right. Feminist organization denied official registration. Enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg. You damn feminists. Alright. I don't even remember where we're up to in the story. I completely forgot. Whenever I'm alone at home... Mm, scratch that butthole. Door, yeah, yeah. I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. My God. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? Do you have time to hear to about to Jesus? To my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local <laughs> bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but yeah. according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a uh, minute. I don't know about that. She I don't know whether they deserve it. Asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and... Never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch it, never what I've got to admit, <laughs> it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. That sounds good. But a good. month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door in his nose this time. Another couple that is a bit rough. Rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky. <laughs> Ready to fire my warning. How do you know where I live? <laughs> In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone yeah. down for a serious conversation. I would agree. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws yeah. always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. Well, that's good the at least. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. Yeah. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible God, this guy has like the best one. Apparently the guy that voices him get hit is Duke Nukem. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. I was Sally trying to figure out. I was just like, his voice sounds so familiar. Sure woman, He's Duke he'll be Nukem. Back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Which is awesome. Sally's going to track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course isn't with anything that. at all. It's a crazy situation. Yeah. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't oh, that afford to lose that an book? ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Who's he calling? Oh, is he calling uh, Mom? Hello. Hi. This is Markham. This is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted Boyd. to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects. Wow. Whatever you like to say at your police building. Okay. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone Ooh. with my wife's <laughs> oh, You're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman. You've got more energy. I've got a lot of energy. Girls about Byron, and it gives me Not energy. Really. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have. Oh, you're a crazy energy. dog lady. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Yes, Alex. Find my wife, and we can just fucking hard spot. Don't you? Here. Don't I'm stick the knife in where the, the fucking is wound thin. is. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Yeah, Laura. I have a fucking heart. And for God's sake, Jack, get yourself a fucking good car. One that's reliable. Shift B, okay. This is the one that was lacking a little bit, because we have price, mainly. <laughs> that was the main reason that it was lacking. Alright, what do I feel like today? Let's have some booger flavor. What do we got, boys? 
Novin? Oh, I turned it down, didn't I? Whoops. Uh, fire? What? Destruction of property. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching. Blah, 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 blah. Bastards! Thieves! Bloodsuckers! Uh, Yancey, you can go by yourself on this one. What the fuck is this? Homicide. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside his home. Alright, you're the lead, and you guys both proceed with her. Because, like, the detectives don't do anything. They kind of go off on their own, and that's, that's basically all they have to do. Ooh, I can get some officers. Let's get Grizzly Adams for shift. Let's get him shift B. Yeah. And what, we don't need another detective, do we? We do, apparently. All right, well, let's get Mr. Handsome Wolfie Wolfenstein for shift A. Awesome. Uh, fire. Wait, what? Fire all black cops. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to the local, local radio station promising to kill all of the black doctors, firemen, and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers, and even some of our city, citizens support them. You have to fire all your black employees over the next two days due to mounting racial tension. I don't want to do that. Fuck those guys. What do we got? We got carjacking. A gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that's on a stolen vehicle list. Um, Kochi and Asano. Kochi and Asano, where'd you go? Don't know why I did Peter Griffin for that. <laughs> ah, destruction property. Did we capture? We did. Good job, Yancey. Very nice, very nice. Homicide? Oh. Eric Graham, a drunken witness. They drove in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much. Thanks, Mr. Graham. You're no fucking help there. Uh, neighbor, Glenn Clayton. Only heard a few muffled shots. Lawrence Carr, the neighbor. He got what he deserved. He was causing trouble for a long time. And recently there's been a lot of cussing and carrying on. Stacy Cobb, a witness. I don't remember the car. And the neighborhood was quiet. I never heard any shots. Daryl Carpenter, a neighbor. The boy stays dice. Don't do nothing. I almost died myself. Went to buy some medicine. And was nearly hit by some idiot's car. Well, that is not my fucking fault. Mate. Uh, okay. Shot out front of his house. Okay, he comes out, and he is boom, boom, dead. I don't know what to do with all that. Keep your investigation going, I guess. Not much more I can say. Alright. Coach in Asano should be arriving. There we go. Suspicious individual. Oh, carjacking. Driver is nowhere to be seen. Wait the safe distance for the driver. Ha ha ha! I know shit. Civilians unharmed as well. Yes! That's what we want to see. Alright. Suspicious individual. Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, has expressed her concerns about a suspicious man wearing balaclavas seated on a bench beside a playground. 
He's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photographs of them. Alright, let's get, um... You and Purdy in on this one. Any money, this is a false alarm. And I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, that was a quick one, anyway. God. They're almost done. Mr. Boyd, I'm opening Freeburg's first martial arts club. And for the first exhibition, I want to hold a sparring match where one of my students takes on your toughest cop. After the fight, I'll teach your man a few tricks. Something that will, you know, help him out on the streets. You know, you know what I'm saying, man? Alright, let's see. I might send... I might send him in. But I'm afraid that they, like, are going to fucking leave because they're like, Oh, this is some good pay. Alright, let's send... Let's send him in. There you go. Suspicious individual. Caught. Great. Uh, the homicide report. We found three new frames. Alright, alright, alright. Um. Hmm. Is it like... Like that? I don't know. Does that look right? There's a fight. Bartender reports a couple of a couple of dancers started fighting over tips, and a cat fight broke out right on stage. Kochi and Austin can go. Let's go to the back to our investigation. Let's go back here. I'm confused. How do I... Like... How do I know if I've got it, like, on the right fucking order? I honestly have no fucking idea. Uh... Did they go like that? How do I... Okay, the sequence, I guess. Can I okay the sequence? I feel like it should be that. Or like... Or like that. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. There's like no way for me to be like... Meh. Neighborhood was quiet, didn't hear any. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, a bartender reported that a fight has broken out between a patron and the bar's bouncer. Man, apparently drunk, had climbed onto the stage with a local singer while performing and tried to sing a duet with her. Uh, Yancey and Asano. You guys can grab that one. I don't know what to do, dude. I honest to god, I have no idea. Oops. Um. I didn't see that. Oops. Reopen the case. It's not a closed case. My bad. <clears throat> what? Chief, I just about nailed the Jap a couple times. He was too fast for me and won the points. I didn't really understand all their rules, so I can't keep track of the points. But he was alright. Even showed me a few tricks. I got carried away with a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. Think I can take the day off. You fucking kidding me? On the stage, are two strippers going at it. And it's gone beyond arguing on the full catwalk. The bouncer is falling asleep, clearly too wasted to handle the situation. The drunken patrons are happily watching the fight. Enjoy your service weapon, just start shooting. <laughs> um, cut, just tell them to cut the crap. They continue fighting. Um... 
All right, let's tear them apart. Tear them apart. That's all we can do. Do you ever use the SWAT team? That's what I want to know. Cause like I don't think you, I don't think I've ever fucking used them. Uh, offender court officers unharmed. Good on you guys, or girls. Good on you girls. All right, there we go. Nice end to the day. Day five. Retired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots pregnant woman. The fuck. Mayor Rogers. City has no problem with racists. Officer Blaine explains, I thought she was a suicide bomber. Really, dude? He's fucking shooting people? Why would a man need a barn? Why Store would a man stuff he need can't a bring barn? Home. About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, right. I'd come home with buckets, As you shovels, do. dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. Yep. But All been there. Then, All been there. There's something I always kept in the barn. Your drugs. <laughs> Be funny if it was like a fucking drug lord or something. Or he's like in with the mafia and like supplying them. <laughs> oh my god, it is. Wow. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking okay. on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. <laughs> it's In all the, the years that we worked guy, together, Kendrick, Kendrick that's one. never came to visit I was going to say, it's, it's Stan Lee. We drank at bars, <laughs> went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. Nice. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. So it was, a, it was a working relationship, it wasn't a, uh, barn. a kind of I outside work relationship. Like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn. Especially yeah, what the fuck? He's got like bodyguards with him. Bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. <laughs> Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. Well, we saw you from the I'm car. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. Okay. What's up, Kendrick? How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yes. Yeah. So now you're appearing Great. in public Good job. with members of the Mafia. Jack, Great. Super. I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Good, I won't be guess. Seeing each other again. I've got new documents. A new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still uh, working your last week for the department. They're going to track you down, me. dude. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your mafia friends about your plans. Jackie, if I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. Well, look, if you try to flee, they're, they're probably going to fucking Jack, kill you. Who else? They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. All right, then do it, I guess. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now good, is not good luck the with time, that. Jack, please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust, oh why? Tonight, are you coming I'm to? Dead. He's coming to me for this. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the um, damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Yeah. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good, but I didn't want to pile it on. I'm a nice Fate's person. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Oh no, don't you make me do this. Oh, no. Oh. I'm going to do it. Give him my phone number. And oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why'd I do that? Don't come to work today. 
I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Oh, Jim. I made a mistake. I get the shouldn't fuck have done out that. of my nice cozy barn, Frank. I really shouldn't have done that, should I? <sighs> At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. Why did I do that? Why did you let me do that? Chief in the history of the Who's city. You, right I there. I have to admit. God dang. I've thought about that more than once. Sometimes with a little pride, even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. <sighs> he catches the criminals. And now, and now I'm working me, for a criminal. Like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals. And I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kids' body parts. Right Fucking before the great last image. hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. You're not a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, you're corrupt not. cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? <sighs> I shouldn't have agreed. It's going to come back and haunt me, isn't it? Alright. It looks like the janitor hasn't been around to clean the toilets today. Don't know about you, but I care about cleanliness of my inmates. Can I go home? Fuck off, no! Court is deciding my custody of my children today. Oh, you're the best cop I have! Yes, we're coming tomorrow! I'm too nice. God damn it. I don't know why I picked this. I, t I don't know why I'm still picking songs. I fucking turned it all down. Because it was kind of loud. <sighs> Alright. Actually, you know what? I might turn up the music a little bit. Why not? Why not? Turn up to a, a 50. It's not even playing anyway. Uh, let's go. Disorderly conduct. Every morning there's a dirty, piss soaked bum sleeping at the cafe. Man refuses to go away and growls at anyone who approaches, scaring all the customers. Uh, Grant, you can handle that, right? And if you can't, what the fuck is wrong with you? Salary. Here's your week of salary. Eh, not bad. Uh, a witness looked on from her window while an armed man uh, with a stocking on his head entered a nearby wicker store. Let's get some SWAT in and uh, let's send the two best in. Actually, let's keep Robbins and send some Marty. There we go. Uh, City Hall, tomorrow is the deadline. I'm not firing my black cops. You can go fuck yourself. Hot Dog Vendor reports that he saw two Alvis impersonators grappling, <laughs> grappling there on the sidewalk. They're swearing in Spanish and beating each other with microphone stands. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Roy and Birch, I don't really care about that case. It's not really a serious case, so... Disorderly conduct. A feather escape. Grant! God damn it, Grant. Some of my people. I swear to God. Alright, the shop has two exits. Uh, drive a patrol car just straight through. Um, sneak up to the back door. The man, the stick up man notices the police presence and took the cashier hostage. He's holding his gun to the hostage head shouting, B uh, back off or I'll blow his goddamn face off. Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling in an unknown language. Uh, you and the mask, shut your face and drop the weapon. Robert grows visibly nervous. Don't shoot, please, I need the money. I just, ta I just take a little bit and go. There's two ways out of this shop. In cuffs or in a body bag. Offend the court. Officers unarmed, civilians unarmed. That is pretty successful. There's been a robbery. An antique Chinese necklace was stolen. 
All right, let's go wolf and you two. What we got here? Jack, this year's... What? Suddenly changed the rule of the annual shooting contest. It now features blah, 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 blah. Uh, you want someone who can shoot. You can send him. It's a hot one today and a lot of people are going for a swim. Last week, four people drowned. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, can I send Grant? Oh, really? I have to send... I'm not sending Grant to this. I might send Robbins. Maybe. At a, at a gallery exhibition entitled Sex Operation, a gang of young people in ski masks force their way in. Oh, I don't have the people to be able to do that. You might have to fuck off. Oh, fine. Offender escape. Birch and Roy, you guys suck. Uh, no, 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 come on. Come on, Vandal, go! Everybody's going in. Everybody. Uh, robbery. The investigation started. Alright, uh... Me and my husband got into a difficult financial situation. I was going to pawn the antique necklace which has been in my family for many centuries. As I was carrying the necklace to the pawn shop, someone ripped my bag off my shoulder and disappeared. I didn't have time to do anything. Not even cry... Not... What? Not even cry out. Uh, Dwayne Fisherman. Dwayne the Rock Fisherman. Okay, good. The offender was on a motorcycle. He drove down the road, grabbed the bag, and then escaped. I tried to race after him, but I didn't even have time to see if, the, if it was a man or a woman. Uh, yeah, Ollivander's Jamie Oliver. <clears throat> I couldn't see his face, but he was dressed in a jacket like like those other bikers who hang around the street corners. Uh, Kathy Griffin Phillips. Uh, it was... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. It was definitely not a local biker. They, were, they are bold and have beards. They look like... But this guy looked Asian, probably Chinese or Japanese. Thomas Patterson. I didn't see a weapon in his hand. I saw him grab the bag and ride off. Hmm. Doesn't give me much to go on. Doesn't give me much to go on, does it? Yeah, I'm going to send you Birch and Roy. Just because, why not? I don't really care about Birch and Roy, to be honest. Because they're a little bit, a little bit shit. Alright, destruction of property. I found the court. Officers unharmed. Good job, guys. Robbery. Here we go. We've got three new frames. Alright, this one seems pretty straightforward. Hey! Sequence complete. Recently expelled from a university. Okay. Uh, let's get some officers going with them in, like, two seconds. Vandalism. A guard went out for a smoke and saw a teenager writing obscenities on the wall. I chased the brat up the tree, and now he can't get down. Well, I have no officers, so, uh, you're gonna have to wait. Oh, here we go. Um. Why can't I send anyone? Uh, Grant... You can go by yourself. I don't care. Uh, we did it, Boyd. We won. Blah, 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 blah. Well, Birch, you better not... Oh, no! I really wanted to do that. <laughs> I was going to. I swear. <sighs> I was gonna go and arrest him. I was waiting for my cops to get back. All right, vandalism job is done. And offender escaped. You suck, Grant. You suck. Looks like tomorrow is going to be a long day. More like the first day of a long days. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not firing my black cops. They can go fuck themselves. Um, although, what I am going to do... Price... Oh, can't click on them. Okay. I'll do that next time. Day 6, 20th of July. Alright. 
I'm gonna leave this episode here of This Is The Police. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. It's a really cool game. I'm getting into the story now. I'm getting very invested in Jack Boyd. I probably shouldn't have agreed to help this... Sorry. This uh, Kendrick guy. Because now I'm gonna have to be doing favors for the fucking Mafia. And that's that's not good. But I'm not firing all my black cops. That they, they can go fuck themselves. I ain't doing that shit. Alright. It's gonna be interesting. Stick around for the next episode. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Paper J and Merch Store down below. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Paper JN. Peace out. We are on our final thread. Slipping out my eyes, I suppose It's easier to just let go So